So after telling them to break up the tillable ground and not to sow among thorns, he says, circumcise yourself unto Yahweh. You have to do this. I don't mean the literal circumcision. I'm saying, he says, and take away the foreskins of your hearts. Oh, well, I was always taught that God was going to do all this stuff for me. He's going to send you the shepherds to feed you with the knowledge and understanding on how to do it, if you're willing to listen to them. But you have to do this. The hardest thing I think that there may be to overcome coming from a Christian background is the idea that you actually have to do anything. I, 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 that is the most evil that they teach you. Because so many suffer because they think it's all just gonna get handed to them. The total disempowerment of people because all the bad stuff the devil did and all the good stuff the Messiah did, so therefore, none of it's on you, except the idea that you had to just simply go, I accept that he is. All right, good for you. What did that change? Did that change anything? No. It didn't make your character any better. It didn't make your life any better. It didn't make your relationship with Yahweh any better. Just because you acknowledge he exists, the, the enemy knows he exists. So congratulations, you and the devil have something in common. <laughs> and the demons. They all know he exists. And they know exactly who he is and what he is. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, but I believe. So do they. Big deal. James says what matters is your actions because of your belief. He always says the same thing. Stop backsliding. Do what I said. Keep covenant. How do you keep the covenant? You obey. But you do it in belief, in trust, that doing it will change you from what you are into what he is. It'll bless you, keep you safe, and change you. We always talk about that. Right, those three things? Circumcise yourselves unto Yahweh and take away the foreskins of your heart, you men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my wrath come forth like a fire and burn and none to quench it because of the evil of your deeds. The suffering. Yahweh's sitting up there like every parent does and say, if you would just listen to me, you'd stop suffering. As parents, don't you know those moments? You watch your children and you see them doing stuff, and sometimes they're not so young, <laughs> and they're still doing stuff, and you're thinking, if you would just listen, the suffering would stop, and you'd start having things go in a better direction. But they don't, for the same reason you don't. They're too self-sovereign. They're too much pride, too much ego, too much stubbornness in there, stiff neck, whatever you want to call it, that they can't listen. They can't receive. Oh, they hear it and everything, but they can't receive it. Because that would have to do, that would have them have to do the hardest thing there is to do, which is to own it, recognize and accept that you're wrong. We read that. He said, you have to acknowledge your crookedness. You know, I'm not for or against things like AA, but I love the idea that the first thing they want you to do is own it and say, I am. Just like saying, it's like you should come in here and say, I am a sinner. I have crookedness. I am, I am unworthy of anything and I need to fix that. Okay? Because the alcoholic says, I am an alcoholic with the full intent of not having another drink. Just like the sinner can go, I am a sinner with the full intent of not sinning anymore. But you got to start, start off looking yourself in the mirror and knowing what you are. With a commitment not to stay that way. That's really the key, Right? is to make a commitment not to stay that way. You know, we talked about this in many of the other teachings over the years. You know, it's come as you are, but don't stay that way. We're coming to change into him. Now, however you are when you got here is fine. We come in all different shapes and sizes and, and, and you know, how far along in the walk we all are, at different points, it doesn't matter. What matters is we're all going, hopefully, the same place. All right? Yeah. 
right?